Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. This is a brief video just to show you a very short clip of an eastern yellow jacket called Vespula maculifrons seeking out a place to build her nest. This is a queen and she's out in the springtime here trying to find a spot that's safe and dark and enclosed because this is a cavity dwelling species of wasp and she'll always seek out a place inside a wall or a structure or sometimes an underground animal burrow, whatever they can find that's safe enough and dark enough for them to build a nest inside that cavity. There's many species of very beneficial native yellow jackets here in North America. So it's important you understand that Eastern yellow jackets, Vespula maculifrons, are one of those beneficial native insects. They will literally wipe out thousands upon thousands of pest insects on your property throughout the summer and fall months of the year. If you find these in a relatively safe location where they don't pose a danger to your family or your pets, whether they're in a structure or in the ground, just let them set up their nest. Don't treat it, poison it, or remove it because they will just be fantastic pollinators and biological control agents for your property. And without them, the pest insects on your property will likely overpopulate. On the other hand, if you find these set up in a place where they're damaging your structure, for example, if they're up in your attic ceiling or they're in your wall and they're starting to cause problems with the structural integrity of the side of the wall or the ceiling, obviously they have to go. Or if they're in a place where you think a child might get stung because they're too close to where the child plays or the pets are or what have you, sometimes they have to go because of those reasons and that's okay. Some of the research we came across was one university, for example, did a study on a yellow jacket species that was wiping out 200 flies per hour all day long while it was in full swing and it had a lot of larvae in the nest and it was fully developed. They were just fantastic at removing those pest insects. So just remember that next time you see a yellow jacket, they're probably your friend. And if you can allow them to just survive and do what they're supposed to do here in nature, you're better off. If you have to remove them, give us a call. We'll do it safely without pesticides in a natural way that keeps you and your family safe. That's it for today's episode. We hope you learned something quickly here about yellow jackets. Take care and have a good one.